I decided to do a video about this device um, that controls the temperature inside my enclosure. As you can see, there's a heater in here, and it actually has a um, temperature sensor on it. And I got that stuff all coming out here. I got the fan um, power lead separate from the actual heating element because the heating element drops in voltage and then the fan doesn't blow as hard and then I got the um, um, it's like a thermistor and I got that going into the board goes right into here and they actually get several inputs it's an input from the heat sink right here, which is a paint sink that was sawed in half um, that was once um, on a north bridge on a PC. As you can see, I just riveted onto the board. I also riveted the, uh, the transistors here. I got a bulk um, um, capacitor um, set up right here for the input. So when they switch on, the voltage input stays stable. And then I got a little regulator, it's a buck regulator, got it right there. And I got a um, Arduino plugged in right here. It's a, uh, it's a, what is it? It's a Pro Mini. And what I have is I actually have the, the, uh, the 10, the digital pen 10. Right there. Uh, going to a small little uh, NPN transistor and then it goes to the MOSFETs. MOSFETs. I got uh, cooling fan leads right here. That's about it for this part, but I'm now going to put it together. I got it hooked up. As you can hear, you can hear the fans. This fan in here has blown out quite a bit of heat. This is on high all the way. Starting to get a little bit warmer in there. As you can see, the top is 25, the bottom is uh, 19 or 20. It's set to 39 degrees, its average is 22. The transistor is 37 degrees, 38. And the heater is uh, 30, 29, goes back and forth. Oh, and then the uh, that's actually the, the 255 that you see right there. That's the pul pulse width modulation output which is also displayed by this uh, bright light right here. And then this, actually adjust the uh, output. As you can see, it's 225 now. Uh, it's going down. And eventually we'll see the, the blue light dim. If you look, you can actually see a red light coming on. That kind of lets me know that it's actually going downward. It's pin 13, basically. It just lights up when the when the when it subtracts off uh, the number right over here, you can actually see it getting dimmer. But we'll actually watch it literally go down dimmer in steps. Yep, so you can see it dimmer in steps. There we go. Now let's let's turn it back up. Got it set to four fifty or fifty-five. I'll actually heat it up. What it does is actually averages the top and bottom. The top goes in right here. The bottom goes in right here. And I got a uh, you know anyone that goes on eBay and gets power supplies knows what this is. Um, this is twelve volt power supply. I got the voltage regulator that's right over here. Turn all the way up, and yeah, I know that's dangerous. Don't don't hook it up this way, guys. Yep, it's working. Now the software. The idea is if the the heater temperature gets so hot, I think it's like 160 something like that degrees Fahrenheit. And if this gets like uh, I don't know, I think it's like 200 degrees uh, Fahrenheit something like that, they're supposed to shut off. And it's supposed to turn the 
actual output down until they're cool, and then they turn back on again. But I've never actually tested this. I don't know if it works in the software. So, probably should check it out. And, but I probably, I probably won't do anything with it. I really don't care too much. <laughs> yeah, works. This works. It's now warm in here. This is just, uh, I think it's like acrylic door, something like that. I used an old t-shirt to seal that up with hot glue. Works pretty good. Oh, and I got uh, this on here. This is uh, the normal tubing. Now, if you notice, the the uh, printer head for the, the extruder is actually right here. What this does is it takes the tension off of this thing so it doesn't wiggle all over the place. As you can see, it kind of kind of likes to move a little bit. It moves pretty easily, actually, especially up and down. Just a little bit variance up and down that won't print properly. Um, so that actually goes up to here. I got my little dust uh, collector right here. It goes right up to here, and that way any tension that uh, the spool has goes on the roof. You can actually see it. You can see when I pull on this, notice how the roof goes up? Check it out. Nothing happens down here. It doesn't pull on it. Because the tension between the spool, uh, uh, the tension that's created uh, on the spool is actually between the roof and the the actual spool so that's what that's for and it it works really really well okay as you can see I got the temperature set to 30 the average is 30 and it's running at 178 so that's about I don't know about halfway on something like that everything's fine nothing's getting too hot <laughs> 